Hi everyone, it's Thomas Wooden Railway and welcome back to another episode of Keek Race Customs. Today's item is a little bit different. It's a Railway Series exclusive character and her name is Victoria. And if you have no idea who that is or don't even know what she looks like, then don't worry. Um, I, don't, I didn't know much about her until I looked some stuff up on the internet before this video, but don't worry, I am here to educate you all. So like I said, Victoria is a Railway Series exclusive character. Not many people know about her, um, but throughout the course of this video, not only am I going to try to hope and educate you guys, but also explain this beautiful custom that was made by Domeless Engine, who has made a number of other custom uh, engines and pieces of rolling stock in the past for me. So Victoria comes from the Christopher Audrey Railway Series. Um, the original writer of the Railway Series was a guy named Wilbert Audrey. He wrote them until about 1972, and then his son Christopher came along about 10 to 12 years later, I want to say, and started writing his own books. Um, one of the last books that was produced back in 2007 was a, um, a series of, well, you know, it, if you don't know the Railway Series, there's a book title and then there's individual stories. So it's like the title of the book was called Thomas and Victoria, and then there was like four stories that would kind of describe why it's called Thomas and Victoria. So that book was published in 2007. The final book of the Railway Series, I think it was called Thomas and His Friends, I want to say, kind of a weird title. Uh, that was published in 2011, and we're probably not going to get any more Railway Series stories after that. So Victoria comes from the book Thomas and Victoria, which was published in 2007. And not many people know about Victoria or the Christopher Audrey series of books because they are very hard to find, whereas the Reverend's books have almost been in continuous print since the Railway series was started, and you can find them online in big collections or even the small individual books. Christopher's books, for some reason, are much, much harder to find. They've been out of print for several years, and they're probably not going to come back. So Victoria was um, created by uh, Christopher Audrey, and the way that the Thomas and Victoria book goes is that Thomas is on his branch line. His driver sees kind of this old, uh, worn-down coach on the side of the rails. Um, I want to say she was maybe being used as a summer house, and either Thomas and or his driver was like, you know what, we could probably repair that coach and get her back into working order so maybe kind of like a railway series version of old slow coach for example so i believe victoria gets sent to the works she meets edward there and then they both realize that they're from the furnace railway i hope i pronounced that right furnace or furnace or something like that but basically they both came from the same railway they knew each other a long time ago there's one chapter in the book where victoria it's kind of told in like a flashback tone where victoria describes an engine named albert and there was like a snowstorm and an avalanche and then eventually over the course of the book uh, Victoria is slowly repaired and she's returned to service on Thomas's branch line so I guess on busy days either Thomas gets to take her with Annie and Clarabelle or we see Toby off to the side here and Toby can pull her along with Henrietta and I believe there's also like a baggage coach named Elsie which is exclu uh, exclusive to the railway series so we got a bunch of different options here um, kind of a weird story um, I especially Actually don't like the name Thomas and Victoria because Thomas and Victoria hardly interact in the, the the book at all it's just one of those weird situations where you know they could have called it uh, Victoria the uh, the heritage coach or Victoria saved from scrap or something like that um, but as soon as you put Thomas's name in the title, it suddenly becomes more interesting, I guess, to the publishers. So anyway, here is Victoria. I believe the story with this custom is that Domeless Engine had made one for himself. This might have been the one he made for himself. I really can't remember. This was a while ago. Um, but anyway, I was having Domeless Engine make a bunch of customs for me, and he kind of threw this in last second, and he was like, hey... I either have a custom of Victoria ready to go or I would be willing to make you one. And I immediately jumped at the offer because Victoria, I knew she existed, um, but knew nothing about her and still really don't know anything about her to this day. So I was like, hey, that's that'd be kind of cool. Victoria, uh, I'll have to do a little bit of research because it's been a while. But yeah, that, that sounds like a, a great custom idea. So eventually, this came to me from Domeless Engine. The front here is really, really nice. Domeless does a great job with getting the faces perfectly. These white lines up top are supposed to represent kind of an archway. I'm looking at a picture of Victoria off to the side here, and Domeless gets it just right. It's just, it's supposed to be just kind of like how 
Uh, they're supposed to be kind of like curves in her design, is that what that's uh, really supposed to represent. But Domeless got the expression just right. And then on the side here, um, there's technically two versions of Victoria because there's a restored version, which is the, what this is supposed to represent. And then there's also like a summer house slash rundown version of Victoria, which is still the same shape, however, uh, she's faded and she's kind of this red color and probably rusty and you know she had to be sent to the works to get fixed up and all that so this is kind of version two of Victoria um, she looks really really nice and honestly when it comes to my series I don't really have a major idea of what I'm gonna do with her honestly it'd be fun to introduce her into an episode but I feel like I have a lot more characters that deserve stories um, before her. That doesn't mean I'll, I won't get around to introducing her, but this was still kind of a really cool custom idea. I'm glad that Domeless Engine was able to convince me to go along with her. I mean, it didn't take a whole lot of convincing, um, but I'm glad he suggested it to me. I'm guessing this was made from an old Annie or Clarabel coach. I'm just guessing. You can kind of see, oh, we are, we got to go this way. Um, you can kind of see size-wise, very similar. Underneath here, man, I don't know. It looks like, it doesn't look like that's painted underneath. Let me get it to focus first. So underneath, you can usually kind of tell who this used to be. Underneath, not really painted, so I wonder if this was just a blank coach. Um, we do have some recall information on the bottom here. I don't know if it's going to focus. Okay. So I don't even, man... I wonder if this was like a knockoff or something. Uh, I don't even see like if Domus painted over the name or anything. It's like this didn't even have a name on the bottom. So honestly, this could be uh, this could be a whole bunch of stuff. It could be like an old baggage car or something like that. But anyway, for those who have wooden railway products, Victoria is the same size as like an Annie or a Clarabel or obviously a different shape than Henrietta. But it's very explicitly mentioned in the story that Victoria is a four wheel coach. So uh, the wheel arrangement was very important when it came to making this custom. Just color wise, we got some dark blue up front here. Um, I will say the lighting makes it look a lot lighter than it is. I'm looking at it off screen, not through my video camera, and it's much, much darker um, to what you would see if you were to go look up a picture of Victoria um, online. So maybe maybe it's just the lighting I have right here, but maybe if I feature her in another video, like a collection video or something like that, um, you'll be able to see, you know, it's actually a little bit darker and more accurate to what she looks like in the book. Uh, then we have the windows up here, just, you know, typical black painted spots with white. And then up top, the entire roof has been painted black as well. Um, I love this custom. Domus did a great job all around, but I really, really, really like the face. I think the face is really awesome. And you kind of noticed, um, I have an Annie coach here. I tried to put them together, um, but it's implied that Victoria is supposed to face backwards. So um, it's from a couple of pictures in the last book of Thomas and Victoria that we see her. I think we see her being pulled forwards though by uh, by Edward in a picture. But then when she's on Thomas's branch line, she kind of takes Clarabelle's spot and looks backwards as Thomas puffs along the line. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think I may have just found myself a uh, an interesting episode idea where uh, Victoria is introduced and uh, Clarabelle feels like she's no longer needed. So who knows, that might pi uh, pop up in an episode Maybe in the future, maybe not, who knows, but that just kind of occurred to me that that back-facing coach position has already been filled by uh, Clarabelle. So anyway, guys, that's Victoria. I hope I've been able to educate and enlighten you on you know why she exists and everything like that. Um, it is an interesting story idea about a coach being saved. You know, it's not like Victoria is on the chopping block by any means. But she's definitely run down and you know she's acting like a summer house and so it is def definite um, similar vibes to uh, the old slow coach story by far. So I 100% think we will never see Victoria in the TV series, just the way things are going. Um, but she's one of your typical really nice coaches that doesn't have a bad part in her entire body and would never snap out or do anything like that. So um, unfortunately, I've not read the entirety of Thomas and Victoria. Um, I know there are some PDF bootleg copies that exist out there, so it'd be kind of nice to see exactly what's going on. But I've read some summaries online, and Victoria seems like a very nice coach who's just wants to do the best job. And, you know, obviously Thomas and his driver saw some potential in her. Otherwise, they uh, they wouldn't have uh, saved her and brought her to the works. So 
Uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap up this video, and it's also going to wrap up uh, this latest round of Thomas Wooden Railway discussions. Uh, once again, I want to thank Domeless Engine for doing a fantastic job, as usual. And uh, let me know what you guys think of Victoria in the comments below, and if you guys would like to see her uh, in my series. Uh, one other little fun fact I forgot to mention. Victoria is a... Um, she was named after uh, Queen Victoria, who ruled... Um, Great Britain for a very long time in the 19th century. Um, apparently, I want to say off the top of my head, Victoria was built in the 1880s, maybe 1882. So her name would be kind of a tribute to the ruler at the time. Um, so, But it's also just a very old-fashioned name, kind of like Elizabeth and all that. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate su your support. That's going to do it for this round of Thomas Wooden Railway um, Custom Model Videos, a.k.a. Keek Race Customs. But I'll be back in the future with more of these types of videos. So thank you all so much for your support, and I hope you guys have a great day.